So we're uh, on a quick overnight with uh, my daughter and her friend, uh, Ella, and they're, uh, they, they're 10, and we decided to go on an overnight, Ella's very first overnight. And they went out paddling on their own in the bay. Uh, I paddle stern. I paddle, I don't know. Front. Yeah. Bow. <laughs> but uh, I thought I'd just show you how we packed, uh, because really I'm thinking I've never packed for myself, my daughter, and her friend. I, who knew? I, but I went up the attic and said, okay, what do I got? So I got these two packs, uh, Eureka packs I've used before. They're waterproof um, and pretty good deal, actually. I forgot how much they were, but they're a pretty good deal when I bought them. And in here is what my daughter's carrying. She's a little bit smaller than Ella. Um, strong though, strong like a bull. Good. This <laughs> off. And all the sleep mags are in there. And in this one is uh, Ella's and uh, a little bit bigger, sorry, Ella. <laughs> a little heavier. It's all the clothes, and I think Kyle has a therm rest and stuff like that in here too. The other pack I have is the main pack I'm gonna carry once across the portage when they carry in these. And, um, uh, Ellie, get back here. Ellie. Angel. Oh, Angel, sorry, oops. Ellie was my other dog, keep doing that. So Frost River pack, this is um, my first year for Frost River, and I first bought them at, um, at a show because I like the looks of them. I think they look very, very good uh, for photos and stuff, but you know, that's not why you should buy a pack. But um, this is the, their kitchen pack, and I'm not using it for the kitchen, I'm using it for everything else. It's a, one of their bigger packs, so I just threw everything in there. The tent, the um, stove, the everything else that was left over. Oh yeah, speaking of stoves, so that's what I take. This is the uh, Kelly Kella Hobo stove. There you go. Now this is uh, coated with wax. Uh, it's, um, it's a canvas, uh, durable canvas coated with wax, and I wouldn't say it's waterproof, but it is water repellent because I hung this pack up uh, overnight with the food in it and it rained all night and it's still dry. But what I do do is I do put everything in a waterproof uh, bag inside. So um, just to, you know, be super cautious. I think you'd be smart to do that. The one thing about the frost packs as well is that it uh, has a tump. Uh, I love a tump, must be Canadian, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, they have a tump with the leather straps and the tump, Really, um, you have to get used to using a tump, and if you have never tried it, try it. It may make a huge difference. I found that these, I thought they may be uncomfortable on your back because there is no cushion here, but I've, what I've done is I've put um, one of the thermorests out here and, uh, as a padding. But uh, yeah, with the Frost River pack, comes with a tump, leather straps, how you wear a tump. Make sure the tump goes right here, okay? So uh, don't put it on top of your head and don't put it on your forehead. It goes right there and it will put all the weight up in your upper body strength, not your lower back. And that'll make a huge difference on the portage. Uh, this is uh, the Timber Cruiser or Forester or something like that. But basically the, it's the same idea, but smaller. I put the food in here. Uh, what you could do is, uh, what I did do is I put the food in a waterproof bag, but I have one of those small barrels as well, which, which fits in here nice. You could do that. Side pockets for the water and really good durable straps. And this thing's not gonna fall apart on you. I know the old, uh, the old packs I've used in the past, the old canvas packs, you can't trust the leather because after a while it's gonna fall apart. But I tell you, after a full season, about maybe 50 days of using these so far, uh, I don't have an issue at all with these. I think it's gonna, gonna own these for life. The brass screws are really, the brass screws, not brass screws, the bra brass rivets, whatever holds it together, are real brass, they're not coated. I think that makes a huge difference. I don't know, I really like it. So I carried this with the food and the water and the canoe. And um, I carry this on the second load of the portage and the girls carry these. On the second load of their portage, they carry the life jackets and their attitude. Hey, there we go. That's my daughter, Sternin. Ella's in the bow and I'm sitting doing nothing. Well, um, it's been uh, uh, six hours, and we've gone around the, we've gone across the first pond. <laughs> uh, the girls are still at it. I'm still sitting in the in the canoe. I'm not allowed to assist in any way. I've been told. I went to pick my pal up once, and I almost got my head bit off. And we are we're not going straight. That's all I'm saying. It's in training, though. You see, in a couple more years. I'm going to be sitting in the middle of the canoe fishing the whole time, entire time on the trip where Ella and Kyler are going to follow me everywhere. Like I'm like, like the prince. Whoa. 
it would sound like a good idea to take the girls out on a canoe trip. My wife thought it was a really good idea. <laughs> Thanks, Alana. Oh, that's a fantastic idea. I think you should. I think you should go out for a month with them. <laughs> yes, Alan! Oh, the patience of Job. <laughs> hey, we made it! Yay! <laughs> Good trip.